Hi, everyone. I'm children's author Janet Hoffman, and today I'm going to take you inside my picture book, Little Skink's Tale. Little Skink's Tale is a fiction picture book for ages three to eight, and it was illustrated by Lori Allen Klein and is published by Arborville Publishing. And it's a story of a little skink uh, who snaps off her tail, just like skinks do in real life to avoid being captured by a crow. Um, and then this little skink sort of misses her tail, so she wonders how she'd look with the tails of other animals, um, common animals. Uh, and then one day she gets a big surprise and uh, she doesn't have to dream of tails anymore. Uh, and this book encourages children uh, to be happy with themselves as they are. And I'm going to take you inside the book. So here she is. Um, she's just snapped off her tail. There's her tail. Uh, and she's safe. She's going, going to the crack of the log quicker than the crow could blink. Little skink snapped off her bright blue tail. Wiggle, waggle, wiggle went the tail, wriggling wildly through the fallen leaves. The crow forgot all about little skink. It wanted that wiggling, waggling tail. As the crow bounced this way and that, little skink slinked under a log. She was safe. Her wiggling, waggling tail had saved her. And then she's missing her tail and a rabbit comes along. As little skink lay basking and thinking, a cottontail rabbit hopped in front of her rock. Hmm, I wonder how I'd look with a tail like that, little skink thought. She pictured her new look. Very cute, she thought to herself, but too puffy fluffy. She also considered a skunk. A skunk's tail. Phew, said little skink. Stinky, stinky, stinky. She also considered an owl, an owl's tail. A lizard with feathers, she exclaimed. I don't think so. And then one day, little skink got a big surprise. And you'll have to read the rest of the book to find out what her surprise was. And at the same time that Little Skink is being surprised in this book, there's a surprise for the kids in this book. The artist uh, added another animal that changes all through the book. Uh, it's a little hard to find, but um, but if you if you look and if you have someone reading it with you, they can help you look, and I'm sure you'll find it. I wanted to show you the back matter, I forgot. <clears throat> At the end of the book, there's also uh, lots of fun activities to extend the book. And um, you can find this book at uh, bookstores and online and any bookstore would be happy to uh, order it for you if they don't have it. And you can uh, find out more information at my website uh, JanetHoffmanAuthor.com, and um, there's uh, some great links there because um, uh, the publisher created a free activity guide to go with this book that uh, uh, is that you can get a link to there, and you can also um, find out lots of other um, things there, and also a way to contact me uh, if you should have any questions. So thanks for listening and happy reading.